So CapCut for desktop has actually been released and in this video I'm going to share with you all the settings you need to know in this app and also the necessary tip and trick you need to know in editing a video. So this video actually has chapters and in case maybe you want to know any tip which is in the chapters, you can just skip to that part and watch your video. And don't forget to like the video up and share to anyone you think this is going to be very helpful to them and also subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to go to my PC and then share with you all the necessary things you need to know. So watch through to the end. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to log in or sign up in case you don't have a TikTok account or a CapCut account. You need to sign in right here with your email in order to prevent it from attaching a watermark to your exported files. And afterwards, you tap on start creating to start your videos. So we're going to go through the settings right here so that you are going to know whatever you need to know. So first of all, we have media right here and this is local where you are going to have your imported files right here. And we have library where we have some cool animations you can just add in case maybe you are making a video you can see people do add this kind of animations to just go to the next scene or something you can just add other animations right here too and then other ones too are here which you can just add in case you want to have them you can see right here and that is pretty much very cool so we're going to go to the next one which is audio and then we have it in the category we have vlog pop beats travel whichever one you feel you want to pick it depends on you you can just choose right here and that is pretty much very cool and these ones are probably going to be copyrighted in case you want to use it for youtube videos so you check and probably add a non-copyrighted music from the youtube library in case you want to edit a youtube but you can use it for tiktok in case you're editing this video for tiktok and we go to text where we are going to be able to add text to videos right here and then also we have effects of text we're going to see how we are going to fine tune our text when we add them these are trending we have basic we have luminance and then we have multi colors right here however you feel you want to just make your text look like you can just add it right here and that is pretty much very cool we have text templates too which you're going to get your subscribe button and then also there's one which i really like so much and that is this one right here in case you are making a video and then you want to add a title you can see this one right here you add a nice title and that is pretty much very cool you add a, an outro too and then which if it's vlog too you can just add it and that is pretty much very cool we have stickers if you want to add stickers to your videos you can see right here we have emojis and then we have cyber however if you want to get it you can just add them and then when we come to this site you can see effects right here we have effects too you can just add effects and I think if you are creating a YouTube video or a reel, this probably wouldn't be really necessary. But some of the TikTok videos effects can be added and that is pretty much very cool. We have transitions here and then with the transitions too, you can add them to a video in case maybe you want to move from one scene to another or you probably just want to add some very cool animations or make it look a bit lively. You just use this transitions right here and that is pretty much very cool. We have filters right here too, which can help you make you add more colors to your videos in case you want to do it but in case you want to adjust them manually too you can use this adjustments right here and then you're going to just adjust it but i'm going to show you how you're going to do this right away too when you are editing a video so we're going to tap on this section right here local and then we are going to import a video which we are going to edit right away and that is pretty much very cool after i import it i'm going to share with you some ideas too so with this side too you are going to see select if you tap on a that is your keyboard and then when you tap on b it's going to split so in case you don't want to use these ones right here in case you want to split and then you just bring it right here you're going to split but in case you just don't want to use this ones right here you can just tap on a and then b on your keyboard and then it's going to just do these actions for you so that is pretty much very cool you tap on this side command z that is going to undo and then redo is shift command z and that is pretty much very cool with split you tap on command b and then also with delete to you tap on Dell or delete and you're going to just delete. So in case you want to just add this video right here, what you need to do is you tap on this plus sign right here and then it's going to be added or you can just hold and drag this way and leave it right here. And it's actually going to be added. And that is pretty much very cool. So when you just add this, you can see this side right here of the video. You see original right here. You tap on it. You're going to see the screen resolutions you can use or the screen sizes you can use if it's for real or youtube shorts or tiktok you can see 9 by 16 you tap on it and it's actually going to show in it for you and that is pretty much very cool but 
in case you upload a video that is like this you're going to see it that way as original so with this video we uploaded a video which is 16 by 9 and we are going to tap on original and that is pretty much very cool so right now when you tap on this you can see that the wavelength here is very very low and when you just tap on this side to expand your video in order to just get access to edit you're going to see that your wavelength is very very low so you tap on this side you tap on the video and then you come to this side right here audio and then you bring this volume of the video up to let's say 15 in order to just make this wavelength high but after you are done editing the video you should bring it down in order to just clear all these orange lines right here else your video is going to distort and it wouldn't really sound very nice so when you check out this right here too you can see we have freeze and then we have reverse when you want to reverse the video and we have mirror and then we have rotate you want to rotate the video you have crop you tap on crop you can just crop the video in case you want to just um crop whilst you are editing and that is pretty much very cool you want to just rotate too you can see we tap on it it's going to rotate and that is basically very cool so that is all you need to know on this side right here so once you start editing you want to just cut something right here you bring your arrow right here you tap on it and it's going to bring it there and then you just cut and then you highlight you just delete and you're going to just get your clip separated from the one you cut so in case you want to just split this one right you can either tap on this right here and then you just highlight this and then you can just drag it in order to just cut it or you can tap on this section right here too and drag it and you can see you're just going to separate your videos right away and that is pretty much very cool so once you've been able to just separate these two clips right here you can add a transition so you tap on this section right here and then you check the transition you feel like you want and then you tap on it and then you drag it to the section and it's actually going to be on the video so let's say you put it here and then you're going to see how the transition look like if it doesn't fit whatever you feel like you want you can just change it you can just put another one and then you're going to see right here and in case maybe the transition is not really taking time or it's too quick you can just tap on the transition and then come to this section right here duration you drag it like this in order to make the transition take some little bit of time when you're just putting it on it so you can see if in case this is how you want it you can just adjust it and that is pretty much very cool but in case you want it the same way you just kept it on you can just put it there like that and then you are good so you can look through and then pick the transitions that really work for you and that is basically very cool so once you are able to just separate these clips right here you can also add text so let's try to add a text right here let's say we want to add a text to this one right here so i'm going to tap on this section either i tap on it to just add a text right here or you can hold it right like this and then drag it to the section and then you add your text so when you tap on the add text you're going to see that your text is going to pop up right here you can just see it on the screen you can highlight the text and then drag it to any section you feel like you want and then you can just edit the text right here so let's say we have jbl because that is what we were editing so jbl and then you scroll up like this and then you can tap on the section to just choose any of the font styles you feel like you want and that is basically very cool you can even tap on this section right here and then choose effects you feel like you want in case you want to add a text and then you just don't want to use whatever we added initially you can delete this and then you tap on this one right here and then add that text and when you when you want to add it you just drag it to this section like we did for the initial one and then we have already made effects right here so we're just going to change it right away and then we type in jbl and then when we type in the jbl we can just make it big like how we feel like we want it so let's say we want to just put it right here and then we tap on this section to drag it and however we feel we want the fonts to be it depends on us you can just even change the fonts right here to based on how you want it but i really require that you do it this way in order to just get a specific one you feel like you want and that is pretty much very cool so with this one let's say we just make this thing a bit small and then we put it somewhere here so right now you can see our video is actually not really adjusted or having been edited so you tap on the video like this the one we split it you highlight it and you come to this section right here adjustments and then this is where we are going to make our video very very nice and clean so 
you can see we have lightness you can just choose to put the lightness a bit higher and then you should make sure you put the Keza or this one right here this line right here on the video you are editing and then you come to this section let's say lightness plus when you bring it to the negative side or you tap on this downside it's actually going to deem it you bring it to the positive um, number it's actually going to make it bright so contrast we put it somewhere here i'm just doing it for the sake of this video you shouldn't put it on a four four you probably should just look through which one is actually going to fit for you you just do that and light sense you just bring it a bit higher sharpness to a bit higher particle a bit higher so those are the ones i tackle mostly i just leave these ones right here and that is pretty much very cool so in case you just do it for this one this particular one this clip is actually different and then this is actually different so once you've done it for this you tap on apply all right here is actually going to apply to this one too and that is pretty much very cool so whatever edits you did right here for the um visuals or adjustments is actually going to apply to this one in case you do that and then you tap on apply all and that is pretty much very cool so you should know you see apply to all clips and that is basically very cool so the next thing i want to share with you is the text template so we are going to go to this section right here where we have title i really have one here which is very very cool so we are just going to tap on it um we drag it right here and then we probably just tap on it this way and then we will just make it a bit bigger and then we just edit it so um, I'm just going to do this right here so how to edit and then I tap on this section right here how to use CapCut for beginners and then I tap on this section right for beginners So with this one right here, you can see that when I just do it and then I probably just bring it this way and then maybe the video just starts. You can see that this is actually going to come in. So maybe you are just introducing yourself to the video and then you're going to see this is going to pop up and that is basically very cool. It's actually going to make it look very, very aesthetic. And mostly you can see people doing it in their videos. You can also do the same. You shouldn't necessarily use this one. You can probably use this one right here. When we drag it, you can see how it looks like this one right here it's also very great and then you're just going to use it to make your video very very nice so so in case you're editing your video and you don't want to adjust your video by doing it right here you can also do it by tapping on this section right here adjustments and then you are going to add custom adjustment and you drag it to this section and then we will probably just drag it to this side of the highlighted video so right now when we tap on this adjustment right here and then we come to this section right here and then let's say we want to do the video a black and white we will just make this adjustment cover the video we have right here this highlighted video right here so the adjustment we are seeing right here is only going to apply to the video right here and after the end of this adjustment you are going to see the video coming to its normal color and that is pretty much very cool so in case maybe you are editing a video and then you feel like you want to just add the adjustment later you can just do your cutting and do whatever add the effect or whatever you want to do and after you are done you add this custom adjustment and then you drag it through to the end and it's going to cover all your video right here so if you just don't like it you can just tap on it and then you delete it and that is good so that is how we add adjustments to videos on CapCut. another one i want to share with you too is how you can just do the auto caption and what you need to do is you go to text right here and then you come straight to auto caption right here and then you tap on create and it's actually going to do the magic for you. you don't need to press anything again after it's done adding the text you're just going to look through to do the corrections of some spellings in case maybe they don't write it very well for you so you can see the captions right here and then you come to this side to just make it stretched so when you tap on this one right here and then you just drag it like this on the screen it's actually going to affect every caption right here but when you just tap on this side and then you come to this section right here and then you uncheck the box right here and then you drag it like this it's actually going to affect this one right here so when you check out right here you can see the size of the text is actually different based on how we uncheck the box right here so we can now even customize the fonts right here so we can scroll down like this and then we just tap on this section and then we can just tap on this side and then when we just check this box it's actually going to apply to all the text right here so you can see it's just going to 
apply to everything and we can just tap on this section to just change the game and that is pretty much very cool so that is how you can add text to your videos when you are editing on CapCut, and that is pretty much very cool so let's check out the next tip you can do also when you're using CapCut. so another thing you can also do to your video is by adding effects so in case you tap on this section right here and then let's scroll down to we get this one right here and let's highlight this video so we are going to put our effect here we drag it to this section and then let's say we drag it to this side for it to affect every part of this selected portion right here so you can see our effect when we tap on play you're gonna see how it looks like and that is pretty much very cool so you can look through these effects right here and any of them which fits your video you can just add it up and that is basically very cool so in case you want to add any song to your video or maybe any audio to your video in order to make it very very nice too you can just tap on import and then you go to any section of your pc where you have an audio you just tap on it and then you add it and then you're just going to drag it to this section right here you tap on this side to just cut it in order for you to make it fit the video and that is pretty much very cool so once you have added it when you play it it's actually going to be higher than the video you have right here so what you're going to do is you highlight this one or you tap on it and then you go to audio right here and then you just drag it like this to the negative side in order to just lower the volume so that you can hear whatever you are saying in your video and that is pretty much very cool you can also choose to add extra more b-rolls and then when you just add them to this side you can just drag them to this section right here you can drag this one to this section in order to just have a lot more videos because you can see other people editing videos and you can see them having b-rolls and also having their editing app looking like this so this app actually does it and that is what makes it look very very great than iMovie because iMovie can't let you add more than two right here when you are actually editing. So that is one thing I really like about CapCut. And the final thing I want to share with you is exporting. So in case you want to export your video, you tap on this section right here, export. And then there are some necessary settings you need to do in order for you to just have everything done perfectly. So you check this mark right here in case it's unchecked. When you uncheck it, you can see CapCut watermark here. You tap on it to check it and then you're just going to remove the watermark. And then you just edit your video so however you feel you want to name it you just name it and you tap on this section and then you're just going to know where your video is actually going to be placed so mostly i put it on desktop so that i wouldn't just find myself wanting after i've edited a video then i tap on open and it's going to be added right here like this so you come to the resolution and you tap on this section and you put it on 4k mostly i put it there so you actually should put it there too so that you get some good quality and then i put it on 60 frames per second but mind you when you put it on 4k and then 60 frames your size of your video is actually going to be very high so in case you don't have space or you have low space you can just reduce it to 2k or 1080p 60 frames per second and that is pretty much very cool so after that you tap on export and you're going to export your video and you're going to see it on your desktop pair how you have actually located wherever you feel you want your video to be placed so i hope this video was very helpful and if it was just give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel and also stay in the comment section in case you want to know any application you want me to review or show you how you're going to be able to use it just stay in the comment section and i'm going to do it for you and if in case i omitted something in the CapCut app too just stay in the comment section and i'm just going to make a follow-up video and explain everything to you and without further ado i'm just going to catch you the next video peace